Welcome to SOS VHS. Today's guest is Rudy, and we're talking about Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. Thank you for coming, Rudy. Of course. So we're going to talk about Nausicaa in a second, but I have to start asking you a question about, you know, how did a 17-year-old girl end up, you know, moving from the Philippines, end up on one of the most watched comedy podcasts in the U.S. with two middle-aged guys? (laughs) I have no idea. Like, (laughs) when I was in the Philippines, I never thought I'd, like have this much people like liking me right like i was never like the popular kid but then when i (laughs) when i started a podcast and then i was just looking at my instagram it was just like i already have 115 thousand followers it's weird crazy crazy i can't even like understand it do you remember the the how do you got to bad friends i do like um (laughs) It was during the pandemic, and mm-hmm. then, you know, Tito Bobby. Tito Bobby is reckless. <laughs> yes. He doesn't know how to clean his hands. He doesn't know what to do. And so Ati Kalaila told me, Jules, you have to babysit him when they go to when he goes to the podcast, Bad Friends. And I didn't even know he has another bad. He had another podcast. Right. I always thought it was just Tiger Belly, but they just started. I think. Yeah. Yeah, and then. So I said, okay, what do I have to do? She just said, just watch him and make sure he doesn't like do dumb stuff. <laughs> and so I did that. And then Tito Bobby just told me like when we went inside the studio, he just said, okay, just sit here like in front of a mic. I was like, what? <laughs> and he's like, just, just, yeah, just do that. And then that's happened. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, Yeah. <laughs> I was like, and I didn't even and, see you until. Yeah, because we we would come in right after you. Left, yeah. So everybody was very. So I didn't know it. you. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. I was, think we we made a video for you to turn the cameras so you could turn the cameras yeah. on and off yeah. and all of that. Yeah, and I think on like the first two or three episodes you weren't talking, but then they start talking to you. No, I was just like watching them on the 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 screen. Yeah. And then Tito Andrew started talking to me. He's like. Why are you talking to me? <laughs> Do you still feel like excited about things or are you already jaded three years later? Because I remember also early on that, that year, you had a brief appearance on Tiger Belly. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember who was on the, on you know, who do you talk to? Mm-hmm. It's a very famous Philippine. Bretman Rock. Yes. Yeah. Do you remember like that moment? Yeah, how I re- excited, excited you were. I was so excited, and then after that, like my picture was just everywhere of me, like with my big eyes. And then my friends from the Philippines saw it, and they were just like, "What's wrong with you?" <laughs> but it was so cute and so fun. Do you get like that anymore, or is like, no, you're over all of this? It's not. I'm over it. I'm just always like nervous to be like around it. Like even when I'm just helping, like was something in the Tiger Belly studio and then like there's strangers I still get like nervous around yeah I still get nervous with Tito Bobby I I get nervous now (laughs) 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 what's his name Pete Pete yeah he died on the on the on the crash yeah yeah I'm dead hi Pete (laughs) hi (laughs) so are you nervous (laughs) are you nervous now no, no. Um, this is yeah. good. No, yeah, relax. Yeah. Um. Okay. So one more question about bad friends. Uh, what was your first impression of of Bobby and Andrew when you met them? Tito you- Bobby. I think I've said this before. When I saw him, <laughs> I saw him just like picking his like nose. Yes. And then he ate his booger, and then I was I was just. And I didn't even talk to him. I just, I just went into my room. Were you surprised that your aunt was dating that person? Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> I was just so surprised. But then he started talking, and he was really funny, and that made me like less nervous. Okay. Yeah. With Tito Andrew, I saw him in a like bowling um, area, and then 
he was like really tall. I remember like his hair was really red. Yeah. And then he was he he seemed like he was just angry. But I guess it was it's just his normal like, That's his base. Yeah, base. <laughs> like I was like really intimidated. Like even the way he spoke to me, I was like Yeah. But yeah. I guess it's normal. So let's go to let's go to the movie. Okay. So the Wait movie, first, yeah. I don't think Nausicaa doesn't have red hair, right? She has like blonde hair. No? Like she has like kind of like orange hair. Orange, reddish. Red orange, hair. reddish. Yeah. yeah. So But not cur is it curly? <laughs> <laughs> it is look, you're really, really good at this. We our stylist was like, this is what we can find, you okay. know? Like as okay. close as possible. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I really oh. like the costume though. It's so cute. But okay, so for for I don't think many people have seen this movie uh, of your generation. Mm. Can you tell us a little bit what what is this movie about? It's like um, a post-apocalyptic world where um, it's like insects versus like humans, and there was like a great like a big war between them and like. Basically, this huge like insects like mostly killed all the human civilization, and then eventually, like these like big insects called is it ohms? Ohms. Yeah, they eventually died, and then like as their body was decomposing, it's like created like a lot of toxins, and it grew into like plants, and then it made like a toxic jungle, mm -hmm. and then that's basically it where we also see like this main character the princess Nausicaa which I love the most she's like she leads with compassion she's so smart she's so strong she can fight anyone and she can lead the people and she just basically she knows how to communicate with this with like the insects and that's where like she like discovers like oh we don't have to like just kill all all these insects we can like do other stuff to have like balance in this world and in the end yeah she does that yeah it's a i, I think it's a beautiful movie um it's from 1985 obviously you <laughs> you weren't here yet so when when did you see this movie for the first time who introduced you to this film it was just me i didn't see this movie i just saw this like recently like two years ago okay because i didn't know anything about studio ghibli until like when i moved here mm. and then i saw all the other films and it it was always like so beautiful like the the scenery and everything but with this movie i was just like um i usually don't like like old films and old animation but with this movie it's just different and yeah uh so you you seen all the miyazaki movies most of them i haven't right. seen the other like older ones but yeah, yeah most of them and this one just like really stuck to me i don't know why it was just so beautiful i was gonna ask you why 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 know. do you think this movie like resonated with you i it's just it's about insects and <laughs> animals i love that part right um nature and it's just I don't know. Even with the, you know, the song that the O made, the little baby, the. Na, na, can you can you sing it? Na, 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 na. I don't know, but it's <laughs> it's the creepy sound music, and I I was I just fell in love with it, and that's when I decided I love this movie. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, Skeleton, can you play the music? Oh, I can. I can hum it. Oh, I can play anything. We're on an island. Yeah, yeah. Can you hum the music? La 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 who, you know, she's in control. There's no love story in this movie. She's like, you know, she's she, yeah. She's strong. She can kill if she wants to, right? Mm -hmm. 
She has a knife. Yeah. You like knives? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, look. <laughs> we have a knife for you, so oh. to keep the tradition going. This is nice. That killed some arms. Uh, no, <laughs> we don't want to kill the right. arms. Just in case. Um. Okay. Yeah. What What else does this movie have? It has a lot of you know she loves animals. She loves animals. Um. What else? I just love like the when they like show the like the spores and it looks like snow. Yeah. But basically, beautiful. if if you don't have a mask on, you're you basically die. Mm -hmm. And then I love the part where in her room there's like an underground room where she she Secret. has all the plants where you can like don't have a mask on because the soil and like the water is pure it's clean yeah it's clean it was just like i love that part i don't it's just amazing what about family she doesn't have a close family she has a, a pet she has a, a fox pet. squirrel yeah <laughs> that when they met he it bit her because it was aggressive at first because it thought it was dan it was in danger but the nausicaa like made him like calm and then it loved her that's what you did with your dogs with julio, <laughs> with julio. yeah right it was crazy i want to talk to you about so you grew up in the philippines mm -hmm. cebu yes so how how was how was your life back then you know what was the best thing about it? What is the thing that you miss the most about the Philippines? Everything. As I grew up, I I never really, like, as I was growing up, I never really noticed anything, like, about my surroundings. But as I came here, I noticed, like, I was, like, like really, really poor. Like, I grew up, like, you've seen, like, the homes there, like, mm -hmm. the poor areas. It's just, like, really bad. And like I've I've never really noticed it when I was younger. I always thought like, oh, this is good. Like this is nice. But then as as I went here, like I came here, it was just like this country is privileged. Right. Yeah. Yes. And then like compared to my country, it's just so different. And like I just miss like I feel like a alien here. And then in the Philippines, I I'm just more confident, like, I can speak my native tongue. Right. And then here, I just feel like when I speak English, I, I feel like I'm just, like, dumb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then in the Philippines, I miss my, my, like, friends. I miss, like, going to the beach where it's not cold. Right. I miss the food. I miss my mom. Why did you come here, then? you don't you don't really get a lot of opportunities in the philippines like it's either you become like a doctor a lawyer and that's it and like i'm like interested in like science and like biology but like nausicaa yeah like <laughs> nausicaa but i'm i'm still not sure like that's what i want like i didn't want to be a doctor Right. And, like, if you don't do that in the Philippines, then you're basically, like, just going to be poor the rest of your life. Mm. Unless you go to, like, showbiz there, then you can... But they only pick, like, light skin, like, Filipinos. So I wasn't going to be that. So, yeah, it's just, like, a better opportunity here. And, yeah, that's why I moved. And... I think Kalila helped me. Do you... Are you okay here? Like, do you, you know, was it tough at the beginning or what did you adapt? I mean, your English is great <laughs> from the beginning. You know, I'm telling you, I, I I have struggled a lot with English and all that. And you came in and it's like, perfect. Thank you, Andres. Um, I struggled a lot, like, because I'm just like a shy person. So in high school, moving here in high school i thought like in the movies you know high school musical yeah i thought it would be like that yeah like just singing and then everyone was just so friendly <laughs> i thought it was gonna be like that but then when i moved there it was like so different Nobody depressing thinks. yeah depressing so yeah i was like really depressed and just i couldn't make friends because i was just so shy i was like when i speak like i i was scared that my accent will go out and then they would just like judge me right so it was just scary 
but I'm I've been like adjusting well. I'm learning more, and I still don't have friends, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I mean. With all, you know, every country has its own things, but don't you think, like, here, like, people accept pretty well, like, people with accents or not? Do you... I think they do. It's just me. Right. I'm just insecure about, like, how right. I speak. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you're insecure, then what do I do? No, <laughs> I like your accent. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I like your accent. Yeah. <laughs> did, did bad friends make you more confident? Do you feel, like, better after, like, being on camera and, like, outside and your outside life or not? Yeah, like... When I started high school here, I wouldn't speak to, like, my teachers or anyone. I wouldn't even ask a question, even if I was confused. Mm -hmm. But when I started, like, bad friends, like, Tito Bobby, like, really helped me. Because he would just always say, just speak. Just, like, don't be scared. Just do it. And so when I started talking in bad friends, like, I started to, like, do it outside of bad friends. Like, I started to talk to, like, my like my teachers. I would just ask questions. And I just felt like comfortable like speaking. So yeah. that really helped a lot. Wait a second. If you are Nausicaa, who is Kalila? <sighs> well, you're, I would say Lord Yupa, but then you're Lord Yupa. Well, just today, okay. but in your life. <laughs> I think she would be Lord Yupa because Lord Yupa, isn't he like the the smartest the, he traveled all over the world the wise the person. wise yeah. yeah so i think she he would she would be at the um yeah yeah so what about bobby Tito bobby <laughs> you know that like the villager who's just always like helping nausicaa yeah i think that's him yeah you don't think he's an um no <laughs> maybe because he sleeps all day that's true he gets angry easily He, he, you have to calm him, right? He goes from red oh, to blue. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> he can be, he can be the only one. Yeah. yeah. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what is, what is your relationship with him now that you guys don't live uh, together? It's a bit distant because even when we were living together, we wouldn't really speak a lot. We would just say, I did well. But yeah, living separately, it's a bit like more distant. But he still, like, whenever he comes over, he still, like, tells me, like, like, whatever you need help with, you you can just always text me. Like, you can't be scared with me. Right. Like, yeah, that's what it is. But So who's the person you go to? Is Kalila the person that, you know, you go to for your day-to-day, -day, like, when you want to talk about something or? I'm, like, I don't really, like, talk to, to anyone about my problems. Like, I don't want to let, let Ati Kalila know, like what I'm dealing with. So I'm just a bit more secretive in that way. You keep it all inside? Yeah. Mm. Is yeah. that, do you think like, I mean, I don't know. Sometimes it helps to talk, even if you, you have to talk to someone who helps. When it's know. like, it gets bad, then I like tell Atika Lai or like um, her sister. Okay. But, but not like all the time though. Cause they're all, she's already dealing with all this stuff. So yeah, I don't want to put more. What about with your mom or, or your sister? My mom, I don't really tell her a lot. Right. We're close, but it's not like I tell her just everything. Like with my problems, she she, do, she basically doesn't know anything. <laughs> And then my sister, I think she knows more. Like I tell her more stuff. Okay. Yeah. Because I talk to them just and say, hey, you know, I wanted to get some information on you. <laughs> And it was really funny. What? This is all they can come up with. What? Now, this paragraph is all the things that they can say. Okay. About you. Okay. So you like to eat rice and chips as a meal. That's really with ketchup. It's <laughs> really good. Okay. You need uh, a pitch black room to sleep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, you like to annoy your mom by dancing in front of her. All yeah, we're like farting like on her face. Okay, did you get that from Tito Bobby or were you just that? Did you Tito you bonded? Bobby. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> And then the final thing is that you're not very affectionate. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. You don't like hugs. I don't I don't really like it. Even like with like with Atikalai, like I don't even do like like I can't say I love you to like Mom, my mom, I, I don't know how to do it. I'm just like not that, 
into like feelings why why do you think i don't know like i just like like cringe at it like even with my boyfriend like i don't really like to cuddle or like do any of that yeah so it's hard you don't hold hands privately but in public i can't do it like pda no right no, i hate it okay do you do that i do yeah <laughs> yeah you're comfortable yeah but i think like i come from a culture where like people touch each other all the time like even my friends like right it, they we move a lot we touch a lot yeah. it's more like i don't i mean you don't say i love you to your friends or the way that you say it here Cause here like you can love everybody yeah. right yeah. but still like it's a very close Mm. more warm culture i think here is a little more distant but you are like a nice cube <laughs> <laughs> yeah in my culture yeah i don't know i don't really see i see my mom and dad like like hugging cuddling they always do that but i don't know i'm just different i don't know why. yeah yeah and what what was your relationship with with your dad with your mom and your sister well you Like, Kalila didn't, right? Like, she didn't grow up with with her dad. Yeah. You didn't grow up with your dad either. From what I remember, he left yeah. my real dad. Yeah. And then he came back, like, when I was, like, six or eight. Mm -hmm. And then I remember, like, we would just, we would go out to eat. But then he would just go away. And then eventually he left for Korea. So I never saw him. Mm -hmm. and then with my stepdad the first time i saw him i hated him my stepdad like i just i hated him i just wanted my mom to myself right but then eventually i like started to like like him so yeah yeah, yeah. i was also talking to josh peck last week and and he didn't grow up with with his dad and i think that's one of the things that he was you know kind of later reflecting on on his life and saying like that affected how i you know see everybody and like how i trust people or or not do you think is yeah you might have something like that too like that you from what i noticed this is just what i noticed like with my other siblings because they grew up with a dad mm -hmm. they're like really confident mm. like they're just more like like they're just like confident and with me like i don't know if it's like related to like having a father growing up but I just like, I just have like, I'm just so insecure. Yeah. I'm just like, like the opposite of like Isa. Right. Isa's like, she's confident. She like, she, she just doesn't like, she just doesn't care about what people think. Mm. And then with me, I think, I don't know if it's about like not having a dad. Right. Like, but yeah, I'm, I don't really, it's not like I don't like men, but I'm like scared. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think probably that, you know, do, do you have any r men in your life? Like, obviously now you have a boyfriend, but it's a little different. But someone that you, you know, that you feel secure with. Secure? Well, I think I'm secure. I feel secure with my stepdad. Okay. But then I don't really form a lot of like, like with my stepdad. I'm not that close to him. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm comfortable with him, but like not that close. Like yeah. even when growing up, we would just always be fighting. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm, I was just always close with my like female relatives. Yeah. Not male. So my my wife was on the same boat like than you, you know, like kind of like growing without a dad, but the dad existed, right? It was yeah, around yeah. and then like... She might look him up and like, you know, she was always checking, see what he's doing. And I could feel like there's always something there that, that is still, you know, and also her relationship with me or like having kids now, like there's yeah. always something there that is like, okay, how can I trust this person? You know, there's something, yeah. something like that. Did you ever think about like reaching back out to your dad or? When I was like 14, I reached out to him and like, I was just like, like, really insecure and then so i reach out to him and then he never replied back mm. and then ever since then i just like s just decided like i don't need him at all like but right then like as i also noticed like like during like when i was younger like you know like when you have like a performance in school where yeah. they say bring your parents or like if you have an award they say bring your parents to have like pictures and then he was never there right 
And then my mom was always just like busy. So no one was always there to like go with me. And so I think that also created a lot of like resentment and also like just being insecure. Like, yeah. Not having like someone to like have a support. So yeah. And have you thought about this like more recently? Because I think even you saying it, it feels like that you are very articulate about this. Recently, like mm -hmm. I never, like I always thought like, oh, I don't care. Like I don't need them to like always be with me. Right. But then recently, like I've just been thinking like, like, oh, maybe like I cared a lot and I just like stopped like not caring about it when I was younger. But like recently I've been thinking a lot about like a lot of stuff. Right. So, yeah. So does that when you look at your boyfriend, is the, any of this stuff like do you know come into play, or like you think like okay, I you are healed or somehow healed from that, and you can. So, he's more like healthy in that way, like with, with his like mindset and mental like thing, and then I feel like because of what has happened to me in the past, I feel like I create a lot of fights. Mm. And just because Atikalaya said that because you like to find like chaos or like you like to create fights because that's what you were used to. But then I just think it's unhealthy and I need to like change it. You need to find the, the clean soil. and the Clean soil, <laughs> pure, yeah. Water, yeah. <laughs> right, I right. Do that. Yeah, just, yeah. So when did you realize you were funny? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> funny? Yeah. I don't I don't know if I'm funny but maybe starting bad friends. Yeah, so before that you, you never thought you were funny. People don't laugh around you. Like I can like make people like laugh a little but not like Tito Bobby like everyone right. just like la laughs yeah when he speaks. But yeah, I I always thought like when you came It was an accident, right? It's not It's not possible that you can think of a show where like this 40 and 50 year old man then have a 17 year old there <laughs> who also has nothing to do with them. There's like from two different worlds and still like some magic happened and a lot of laughter comes from that interaction, right? Like you. Yeah. And and you quickly learn your role, you know, it was it was cool seeing you grow so quick into, oh, you know that you can make up stories, you can you know go along with whatever improv all of that is 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 you didn't do any of that beforehand it was just no like i like they always got mad at me at first like when i say what i didn't do that <laughs> and they always just make up stories just do it and then that's when i was like oh okay then i can just say anything then <laughs> right <laughs> yeah. yeah i mean Remember when we went to San Diego, I think it was like a year and a half ago and then we walk in that stage and like 2,000 people that start screaming your name and, 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 you know, does that feel good? I don't, like after it, it feels good. But during like the moment, I'm just like shaking. <laughs> I don't know how to like receive the like, all, the fans, like them just saying, we love you like that. Right. I just don't know how to like receive it. So I'm just always like, I'm just like shaking and I feel like gassy <laughs> and yeah. Yeah. You have to poop. I have to poop. <laughs> and But after it, I'm like, oh, that's like, it's a nice feeling. After Yeah. Does yeah. it give you confidence? Something like, you know, like how Bobby talks about, like he loves that feeling so that he looks for that <laughs> and you see him constantly. He gets mad if someone doesn't recognize him. Right? <laughs> yeah. Do you like that or is, or, or. I don't like it because. Right. It just feels not real. Because, mm -hmm. like, with my life, like, I'm in college and no one literally knows me there. Sometimes, like, people recognize me, but, like, it's just a different, like, reality to, like, them, like, screaming, Rudy, Rudy, we love right. you. It's just, I don't like it because then you're just, like, making up, like, a not real, like, life. I don't, I don't know. Did you ever think that, you know, being on Bad Friends, did it ever occur to you, oh, I could be this, I could do this for a living. I could be, you know, in the, in this business or really was like, oh no, this is not real. Um, <laughs> well, I've thought about it. Like, yeah, this is like, maybe I can try, but like with my confidence right now and me just being insecure, I don't know if I can do it at the moment, mm -hmm. but maybe when I'm, 
older and like when I'm just like confident in myself, then maybe I can do it. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. So you said the other day, like, what what are you studying in college? You're doing a lot of science, right? Yeah, I'm. My major is biology, and yeah, I'm doing a lot of chemistry and bio. Why? <laughs> Why do you go that route? I don't like most of my family. Like the women in my family have always gone to like medicine or like science, right? And from like I said on the other podcast, like I literally don't know what I want. I don't have like in any interest in anything. I know like I like animals. I know I kind of like science. Yeah. But then because like most of my family went to medicine, so I just like okay, I'll just do this then. Yeah. But right now, I don't know what to do. That's why I'm like panicking. <laughs> Are you enjoying college life or not? <laughs> um, I like some parts of it, like going to school and seeing like this, like it's such a huge university. There's so many people. Mm -hmm. But then, like I said, I'm really, 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 really shy. Like, <laughs> like even like in a group like activity, I can't. It's hard for me to like engage with other people. And can can you use the all these bad friends training to do that? S some of it, yeah, I do. Like like the last last semester, I had to do public speaking. Mm. That was. And that's a very worst. American thing. I think in other countries they like, don't do that. They don't do that, and that's why I think Americans are very confident and they they speak better. Yeah. You know, it's a good class to have. That was the worst class, <laughs> right? Because I, because the professor would just like ask you and something, and then you have to come up with something. Like, well, the Brad friends did improv, right? So I guess that helped. Like I was just like lying about everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that helped a lot. <laughs> But that was the worst class. Okay, were you fun in that class? <laughs> mm, sometimes I, like I remember just like lying about like, like everything yeah okay um okay so i know you love animals did you grow up with a lot of animals yeah i did like <laughs> so when i was like five i so this is my house with my family and mm -hmm. this is my grandmother's house and this is my aunt's house so we just we were just like surrounded with a lot of families and then I don't know if they were our animals, but they were strays. But they always like were in the house and they lived with us and we just took care of them. And yeah, I always grew up with like dogs, a lot of dogs. So when you move into Bobby's house, how did you guys manage to get four dogs? Because he didn't have four dogs. Yeah, I think they started with cats. I think yeah. they started with cats. With Yeah. With Bojo, then Mink. So three cats... And then Atikala adopted Gobi. Gobi's like the perfect dog. And then Atikala adopted an old dog that hates me, but I still love him. Like whenever I try to touch him, he's just he just wants to bite me. But it's fine. And then Atikala keep kept saying, like, oh, since you really like dogs, why don't we try to foster um some like stray dogs? And I said, okay. So then we met baby Julio and then Tito Bobby always like blames it on me that that's why he's crazy because I you molested him molest <laughs> I've never mo he's the one that molested Julio yeah I, like and were you a witness of this yeah you see like <laughs> videos of him just like kissing Julio they like make out so I saw yeah he's the one that molested Julio not me he's projecting yeah he's projecting <laughs> but yeah and then so we had Julio was just a foster, <laughs> but then since he was crazy, no one wanted him. So we decided to keep him. And then I was like going back and forth from the Philippines to the US. So Tito Bobby and the Kalaya had to take care of him. And like, there's a video of like when I left to go to the Philippines, just Tito Bobby like crying, saying, Where's Jules? <laughs> I need her. So yeah. And then. Two years after we adopted Stubbs, he was a puppy also, and he's the best dog ever. <laughs> like, 
Julio's my baby, but I think I'm more connected with Stubbs. Stubbs is your mm, my dog. Tito, you're like the the fox squirrel. Yeah, yeah, he's my yeah. <laughs> Goes everywhere with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and they you live with all of them the in the apartment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you you do you are you the person who takes care of them or <laughs> you're yeah. supposed to? I am. I am. So. Going back to college for a second, I remember early on that you have these expectations about college. I don't know if you, you know, if you saw another movie <laughs> after High School Musical and you thought, okay, college is, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but you, you were talking about partying, drinking, all of that. <laughs> did, did you fulfill those dreams or no? Yeah, I think I fulfilled it in like <laughs> second semester of college. Yeah. And then... And was it, was it good? It was so dumb. Like, there's just... <laughs> college people are just like so like pretentious and like they just know everything and then like they're just like i'm the popular one and then right. i just hated it the the partying because there were just a bunch of people like that and then i got covid because of it i'm so dumb <laughs> so you, you don't do it anymore no i don't do it anymore and like in the <laughs> in the philippines like when i was like 15 to 17 I started drinking because mm -hmm. the drinking age there is like, I think 16. <laughs> so like, I was just always like drinking with my friends. Yeah. So it's not a big shock when I came here and like to party. Yeah. Yeah. I think outside the US, the drinking age is different and I yeah. think people don't make a big deal out of it. So yeah. I think there's less drunk people there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Like everyone here is just obsessed with like. Obsessed. <laughs> yeah. I think that's, a, that's, a, I think they, they should make the drinking age 18 and, and all of that will disappear yeah <laughs> fake ideas the craziness about it yeah um so what is the thing that you like the most about um uh, living here now well <laughs> um i think like having like independence from away from my parents because okay. they were like really strict yeah and at the call it's just like do whatever you want but i think because she's like that like you She's like, do whatever you want. I'm more like responsible. Are you thinking you want to go back to the Philippines or or not? I don't think. Well, like vacation, I want to like go back. But right. I think I want to like just live here and like s like work here. Okay. Yeah. So kind of following uh, your aunt's footsteps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you said that you really don't like something specific you don't have a passion for anything yet i mean you ha you have time uh but what about you did you like know what you wanted to do yeah i my i was a little i always loved movies so i i i wanted to be in that world i just didn't really know what that was mm. and it was a journey that is like okay it, it i thought that it was gonna be easy at one point and not yeah. this thing that is like okay it's an unobtainable dream you start doing it and it's like i never thought i was gonna work on a podcast or do anything <laughs> related to comedy or because i was also an accident like you you know I, I i was gonna do some of the production but andrew just yeah, yeah. laugh at my yeah, accent yeah. so he made me read things and do the bits and all of that yeah. stuff so it's completely accidental too so yeah. you never know you know your life goes <laughs> never on a straight line yeah um but yeah, I always love American movies, so I wanted to come here for that, and mm. so I put my my target in uh, on that, and every decision I made was like to get there. And you started with a um, student visa to come here. Yes, yes, I came with a student visa. Like, and then how did you get your working visa? And then I got a green card. How? <laughs> There's different types of green cards, right? I yeah. got one that is called an artist visa. What? Or alien of extraordinary, extraordinary ability. What? You're also an alien. So you just said that you are an alien. So <laughs> you might. So yeah, it's, it's, but there are multiple things. Like if a company were to sp sponsor you, you, yeah. know, you can, you can get that. And you can always marry some. I know. <laughs> I keep saying, let's just marry. <laughs> and then just break up after. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. As long as he knows. That's yeah. what, what you want. As long as he knows. Yeah. Do you see yourself ma marrying someone? Right now? No. I don't want to marry someone right now. Like, maybe when I'm older. But right. I think I never want to have, like, kids. No? 
No, because I also like thought about it. I think <laughs> I think I'm just gonna like traumatize them. Why? I think I'm someone who's just full of right now I feel like I'm someone who's just so full of like like anger <laughs> and just like you know my dreams? Stabbing people. <laughs> so are I, those real dreams? Yeah. I didn't make that up. <laughs> okay. So those are real dreams. So mm. I think I don't want to kill anyone. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. We're going back to, to Nausicaa. Right. She doesn't want to kill anyone. <laughs> she she does, yeah. It's really bad. She's she very doesn't. compassionate. Right. So yeah. So I'm on that path. I want to be like Nausicaa. <laughs> right. Yeah. You want to turn the red blue. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, some people, when they have a, you know, a childhood where they, they, they find some trauma, might repeat that. But other people, like, because they have that, they want they, their kids yeah. to be completely different. So, yeah. I mean, I, you have time, you're so young not right now, but... Yeah, because... You might change your mind. I th <laughs> We talked on the Tiger Belly podcast with Isa about it. Mm -hmm. Like, I told, like, I said, like, I used to, like, beat Isa <laughs> when I was younger because I was the one that, like was taking care of my siblings because my mom had to like do her job so like i didn't know what to do and then when i get mad i just like <coughs> yes. swinging stab isa <laughs> not stab <laughs> but i would just like beat her and my other siblings and what I do you mean beat her you you hit her you didn't like, beat her did she come with a black eye well like bruises <laughs> okay okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> how old was she she was really young oh so you traumatized your your sister i guess <laughs> so that, i feel really bad but that's why i, I like i don't want to have kids so do you feel angry inside uh, all the time now i think so yeah yeah maybe you'll be a great comedian then what look <laughs> right look at andrew <laughs> That's how, that's oh that's how he channel his energy. But you know, Andrew's like really like smart with like his jokes and everything. I right, I but it come know. all from anger. That's true. Right, so maybe you, yeah, channel that to do something else. That's true. Right. I didn't realize that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's either that or stabbing people. So, <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, another thing about you that. Are you bored when you are at Bad Friends? Because a lot of people think like you are bored because just, just looking at them. Sometimes Tito Bobby and um, Tito Andrew talks about like co comedy and like movies that I never like heard or like saw. So I'm just, I don't know. Like I can't like act like, oh, I know what they're talking about. So I'm right. just like I'm not bored sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> okay. Sometimes. Yeah. So like it's, when it's they true. talk about like actors that I don't know, I just don't know how to like engage. Yeah. <laughs> um, so <laughs> <laughs> you said, well, in this movie, there's a lot of also like sword fights and knife fights. Is mm -hmm. that you talk about knives, your dreams is all of that is true. You're saying like there, yeah. there's, uh, you know, I was going to ask you what's the truth behind like that. Uh, put the knife down, Rudy. <laughs> It's uh, so you dream with stopping people. Yeah, like I said that like in 2020, 2020. 2020, yeah. Yeah, and I've still been ha having like those kinds of dreams. And then I rarely dream, but when I dream, it's always like violent. Hmm. Like it's always me just killing people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you do any exercise any any <laughs> any outlet where you can get your anger out i hate exercising so much i yeah. hate it and atikala is the opposite like she exercises regularly and i'm just the opposite like whenever she invites me i'm always i'm i just go hide in my room <laughs> but you love diving or no i love diving the most like swimming is just really fun but exercising isn't fun do you like exercising absolutely not see <laughs> i hate it but you look so thin Did because you i'm young yeah i have to exercise sooner or later so that i won't get fat <laughs> yeah like, chips and rice are not gonna but it's so good with ketchup <laughs> you have to try it <laughs> chips rice and ketchup what it's kind so of chips <laughs> <laughs> what kind of chips do you eat? oh um i i use like the filipino chips the manghuan salt and vinegar it's so good with oh. rice 
Like even after you like you're done with diving, it's the best. I I love chi- I like chips and rice, but not as a meal. It's a meal. <laughs> like you buy like the big chips and then you just put it on the rice and then you put ketchup and it's just So all those stories where Bobby said like I I got steak from Morton's and you don't want it, all of that is true. <laughs> yeah. He's too fancy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he can go high and low, right? Yeah. He can go to Taco Bell. And, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, do you think you have changed a lot in inside from when you arrived to the States? Other than getting a little more confident and all of that? I can't tell. Atikaya said that I've changed a lot over mm. the years. Like, I'm... But I can't tell, really. What do you think? I, th- I mean, I think you are very mature. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and when I saw the first time, I thought well, you were more like a kid, you know? So, and it's only been three years. Yeah. I'm very articulate and like self-aware, all of those things that are, you know, you're shy, but that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Andres. Uh, um, so, uh, I don't know what I was going to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, I have a question. Yeah. Do you get mad when people say Andres? No, Andres? if... If they get the A at the beginning and the S at yeah. the end, I'll, I go with it. Okay. I know it's difficult to... Yeah. Well, it's so similar it, to many names. Yeah. I'm I'm okay. I don't okay. get offended. Okay. Do you remember how you got your name? Your Rudy name? Tito Andrew, right? The Rudy Giuliani? <laughs> Giuliani, yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I looked him up. It doesn't look like me. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um. Yeah, that was funny. Um, also, another thing, like, so you became super famous super quick, right? Like, a hundred thousand people uh, follow you. You'd never post anything. It's because, like, I don't know. I'm scared to post. <laughs> Why? Because I don't know. Peop- I don't know. I'm just scared of what people think. Okay. I need to like control my Instagram. Right. Like, I need to take control of it. <laughs> Yeah, I always I only see you post maybe something dog related because <laughs> you are affectionate towards dogs. Yeah. Right? Like really you affectionate. Their, yeah. Yeah. So why do you think that is? That you can be affectionate towards dogs but not towards <laughs> humans? <laughs> um, well, I don't know. I think because I feel like I could trust dogs more mm. than people. Right. So it it is like a trust thing. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Mhm. So, do you think it takes a long time for you to trust someone? It takes a long time. Like, even making friends, it, like, like it takes a long time. Like, I remember when I was younger, like, I never really had, like, a lot of friends. And then when I was in high school, like, I tried more. But that took, like, a long time for me to just, like, like let myself, like, my guard down. But, yeah. But with dogs, they don't talk. They don't know what's going on. <laughs> So I just, it's better. Yeah. And they are loyal. Yeah. And they don't judge you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you said that you really don't have friends now. Is that true? Or like, do you hang out with people? Do you go to my the boyfriend? Or, that's it? Just one friend? Yeah. Like, I see a lot of like my other friends in the Philippines. Like, yeah. I feel like because of like me just always being shy and everything i feel like i'm like in just like a stagnant position in my life like i'm not like improving and when you said like oh have i like changed that's why i don't know what to say because i feel like i'm just like stuck because i don't have friends like i see a lot of people on instagram just like going to concerts going to like yeah. a lot of like road trips with their friends and i haven't done that but would you like to have friends or do you like I would to be love alone? to i just yeah it's hard did you have a hard time making friends? Not really. I was always... <laughs> 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 I always had a lot of friends, you know, but I was very shy. Yeah. I'm also now shy. I'm okay. Like You're shy, know. but you, like, you're, like, funny and you know what to, like, say. <laughs> yeah, I, I, can, I can play with, with people a little bit, and, and but I always like people, you know. There's some mm. people who get energy from other people and people who like to be alone. Yeah. I think I am a little both. I like to uh, be alone. I love to do my own thing and yeah. not have to always be around people. But I, you know, it's good to have people to talk, discuss, work. I know. Like, I I, I want to... Next semester, I'm, I want to try. Like, there's this, like, girls, like, I kind of talk to, but 
Yeah. Because of college, like, there's literally, you take different classes, there's different things you do, so it's just hard. Yeah, but having friends is also similar to having a boyfriend. It's like, yeah, you might, it might not work out, it might... You know, it might hurt a little bit to feel betrayed or not yeah. working out. That's but if, scary. But if you don't try, then, you know, you're never going to know. You're never going to have that feeling. Yeah, that's true. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's scary. Yeah. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? That's true. You can go back to have no friends. Yeah. Or no boyfriend, I'm used right? to it already. <laughs> right? So yeah. that's where you are right now. <laughs> that's true. Um. So the... uh. Did your boyfriend make you feel like, okay, I can trust someone now. It's like someone who I, you know, you, you can call, trust, problems, like have fun. Uh, even with him, I don't really talk about um, my problems with him. Yeah. And that's what he's always like saying, like, why don't, like, because I just always like get mad. And he knows when I'm like mad, I'm just like stressed. And like, yeah. why don't you just like talk to me about it? And I'm just like. I can't, I literally, I, I, I don't know how to do it. Like, and I can't. So how do you solve a problem or a, a feeling or something? I just what watch a movie and then sleep through it. Okay. And then that's it. That's it? That's Which it. movie? Is it always the same movie or any movie? Um, Any movie. Right now I'm watching Terrace House. It's, you know Terrace House? Mm -mm. It's like a Japanese, like, reality show. Okay. And it's, and it's like, six strangers living together in like a one house and like it's just different interactions with different people like i want to go and try that <laughs> yeah but i don't know how to speak japanese so right but you can do it here no <laughs> <laughs> um okay so do you uh what what is your hope you know what is the hope the most hopeful thing you you have right now what do, what do you think is going to happen in in the future that gives you hope because the movie right we, we are talking a movie that is pretty dark for yeah. for a anime fantasy movie but still in the worst of the worst like you know she's always very help, hopeful uh -huh. are you hopeful <laughs> um i tend to be the opposite of hopeful <laughs> right but I don't know. Maybe like in the future, I would want to be like in a position where I know what I want and I'm doing what I like to do or love to do. Yeah. Yeah. But you have to find that first. That's so hard. <laughs> yeah. I mean. They say to like, like explore everything. Right. Then... You have to explore more, like get out of your shell a little bit. Because well, what is, okay. Tell me what, what is your daily routine? You go to school. I go to school, yeah. work, and then go home, yeah. feed the dogs, watch my movie, and then sleep. <laughs> and that's it every day? And then I'm also, like, really, like, a tired person. Yeah. Kalila told me, like, that you were, like, an undiagnosed <laughs> narcoleptic. Yeah. And that you could sleep anywhere. I can sleep anywhere and, like... When I'm doing something like an activity after that, I need to sleep because or else I'm just like, I can't think. I have a headache. Right. I'm just, I'm like a tired person. Yeah. So like going out seems like tiring. So, but have you explored LA at all? Some parts of it, like, um, little Tokyo, um, like the museums and do you do that on your own or is this i've been family? i've gone with like friends okay and like my boyfriend yeah so you do things like that Go yeah hikes hikes i like hiking yeah like going to coffee shops i like that right yeah but yeah i'll th those things w will come you know there's always gonna be something college is uh, the thing about college i think is one thing is what you're studying, which is important, but the other thing is just exploring that life or like, you know, meeting people, like yeah. being in interesting conversations. And then like with your program, with your students, you always go to other places, like you right. explore things. That's really fun. Yeah, we do a lot of things like that because it's it's important to, you know, because if you don't, that's what I'm saying, like they explore LA, yeah. this city has so much to offer in that sense, you know? Yeah. And you'll find something that you like. Um, you don't have to have everything figured out at 20, you know? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> okay, I have just one more last question. It's just like, tell me something that, you know, come on, like, something about you that you never tell anyone. 
<laughs> I never tell anyone? Yeah. Like, what is something about you that you haven't told anyone? Or that you keep to yourself all the time? I mean, if you... Anyone. Does it have to be... <sighs> something personal. Something personal? Yeah. <laughs> something personal. Hmm. Um... I think... Right now... <laughs> I think right now, like... With my family and my friends, I can come off as like really like 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 okay person like like with like I like Tito always Tito Bobby always says like oh you don't have like do you like feel anything you don't have like the like do you, you don't have depression or like you're like you're so like like standoffish cold. yeah standoffish mm -hmm. but I feel like I think like. I feel like the most and like I think like I'm just like I feel a lot of things yeah I just don't know like how to like say it like with even with Ati Kalaila and like my mom I I don't know how to like just like tell them like I love them but I do love them right it's just hard for me and they know I think yeah they, they should know yeah right yeah, I think, okay, I think your only homework is to be like, you know, is what they tell, you know, guys all the time as they grow up, you know, like they like a girl and they, you know, they don't want to ask her out because they might, she might say no and that might break their hearts, right? Like, but that's the only way to, to do it. You have to go there and so, not every time is going to work out well. But once you do it one and you feel like, oh, it wasn't that bad, you know, yeah, it hurts a little, but it's not that bad. Yeah. Then you start doing it again and again and again. And eventually it's like, oh, it actually most of the time works, you know, like people in general are, are pretty good, you know. Yeah. And it's good to put yourself out there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I will. I'll, I'll try. Okay. So then, in 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 order to uh, solidify this this promise that you're gonna put yourself out there a little more, a little more, it's step by step. We're gonna do a blood. A blood. Oh, <laughs> sure. Well, you can do a blood thing. I was gonna do something more symbolic with this movie, which is planting. Oh, <laughs> where's my plant? This is, uh, okay. you know, you you have to plant our our little, uh, you know, hopeful. In the and, sand. And this clean soil. Okay, soil? Yes, <laughs> underneath. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, okay. See? And see if it grows and... <laughs> this is like you. And then we can do the blood thing. Okay. Like put it on the plant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that, that, that's what you get out of the movies, the nuclear attacks and the, the blood and everybody. <laughs> yeah, so no more wishing you are invisible. And everybody dies. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, this is like a therapy session. Yeah. I, guess. <laughs> I like it. Okay, cool. It's so then calmer you... than bad friends. Yes. Yes. Also, it's not as funny as uh, as them, but it is. But like... I like it. It's okay. really good. I like it more. <laughs> okay. Well, well, I'll take that. <laughs> Let me ask the skeleton. Skeleton, how are we doing? The the scene with with uh, Asbel in the movie where they're eating the Chico nuts mm. and he says how bad they taste. Is there a food that you <laughs> really like that somebody else, maybe your boyfriend, maybe your uh, sister, that uh, that they actually hate and say it tastes bad? That they really hate and taste bad. Mm. There's this Filipino dish, well, fruit. It's durian. Do you know that? Mm -mm. It's they say, well, it's like really, really smelly. It's like Tito Bobby's like foot, like smelly. Like it's really bad. Right. Yeah. Like, but when you taste it, it's like really, really, really sweet, really tasty and like so good. But like a lot of people like hate it. Yeah. I mean, I was going to say Balut. Bal that Balut's good. So... Have you... You tried it, right? I, I, I tried it that one time. Did you eat the... I... No. Did you eat everything? No, I gave it a bite, and I don't. Don't you remember? You were there, I think, because Bobby, I oh, escaped. Yeah, Bobby, yeah. you know, chased me two blocks to <laughs> force me to go back into the room. Then George made fun of me forever. Uh, <laughs> I think there's a tiger belly blog with it, but I thought, you know, just seeing the animal there was yeah. like, oh. 
I think, yeah, like other people, it like, gets like, like, grossed out by it. But I think, like, in the Philippines, it's so like common, common. and like, you should like try it. What like we usually get it at midnight, mm-hmm. and then there's like like someone like on a bike like just selling it around, and it, it's so good when it's so hot. And then, like, with the sauce and with the salt, and you just, like, drink the the liquid inside of it. It's so good. Do you ever get it here? Because there's a lot of Filipinos in LA, right? And a lot of Filipino food. Yeah, but I don't know. I've tasted what George bought, and that was, like, not good. So, okay. it's fine. I can yeah. just go home and just buy it. Yeah. Yeah. So, for now on, it's, like, still rice and, and chips. Rice, chips, and, and ketchup. ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Before before you go, mm-hmm. I have a little present for you. Oh. It's a little Tito Bobby, a little om that you can. Me and Tito Bobby. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's oh, you and Tito no, Bobby. Like I was... oh. And then you can tell when he's, uh, you know, early morning. You what... can put the red eyes. <laughs> right. You can put the red eyes or the blue eyes, depending on the mood. Oh, thank you, Andre. <laughs> you have to build it. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Why do you why do you like anime so much? I think because it's like there there's always like action things and like the the plots are always like just different. I I don't know about I don't really watch like what you watch like the classic like Right. But with anime it's just like I like to like it's like a different reality and I like to be in there instead of this reality. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. That's what it, I ma- like. it makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense. <laughs> and more knives. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you, Rudy Jules, for coming. Of awesome course. Having you. I really love this. This is like the first time I enjoyed a podcast. Yay. We got you. <laughs> You are welcome, so you can come back. (laughs) Thank you, Andres. Awesome, thank you. (laughs)